Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stefan and this is the French Cooking Academy. Let me start by saying thank you guys uh, to have joined me in the weekend for the live event that was amazing, my first ever live event. And so for you and for me, such a great experience, such a great uh, exchange. And many of you said that you wanted to see more of French dessert. And I thought, you know what, today we're going to uh, just make one of these recipes. I've got the pâtisserie book here and we're going to uh, learn how to create the famous French style vanilla slice. Just the name already sounds very good, but I'm going to make my own version of uh, that dessert and I'm going to call it the raspberry vanilla slice. And this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to take some fresh uh, puff pastry, just a big rectangle. I'm going to spread some pastry cream, then add in the middle a layer of fresh raspberries, then cover it with pastry cream and finish it off with that flaky puff pastry. And just add a little bit of sugar on top to make it nice. And then you can slice it up and serve that for your guests, your family or just yourself in front of the television. It's delicious. Recipe and all the instructions coming up now. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me for that French cooking class. So today we're gonna make the vanilla slice or learn to make the vanilla slice. And of course, uh, I need to tell you the difference between this version and the French version. The French version is called the millefeuille, translated the thousand layers because of the layers of puff pastry that you have and these golden leaves. This is why it's called the thousand layers. The big difference in France as well, uh, the recipe is made with three layers of puff pastry and only uses uh, vanilla pastry cream. The top is also covered with an icing and decorated with chocolate. In terms of history, the millefeuille appeared in France in 1806, more than 200 years ago, and published in a book back then. And they said that the recipe was forgotten for more than 60 years. And it is only that in 1867, a pastry chef called Sergent in uh, Paris decided to revive the recipe and serve it to his guests. The recipe was met with a huge success and started to spread like wildfire. And today it has just become a world famous dessert. But now that we've got all these details, let's look at how to make a recipe step by step in that little French pastry course. Now let's start with the ingredients. Uh, you're going to need four. That recipe is fairly straightforward as you can see. Uh, we've got uh, corn flour, four eggs. We're just going to use the egg yolks. You're going to have some whole milk, pure cream, uh, fresh raspberry, sugar, butter, and this is the uh, fresh puff pastry roll that uh, I bought from, uh, from the shop. That, of course, is quintessential, the fresh vanilla bean that is really gonna uh, change the flavors of your dessert if you use the fresh stuff instead of the extract. Now, all the ingredients will be listed in the video description as usual, so you can just refer to that for your shopping list. Now let's start the recipe. We start with a pan. Huh? We're going to need a whisk and we're going to start on low heat, low to medium. Huh? And you're going to start by pouring all the milk in and we're going to infuse the milk with the vanilla pod. Very important. So you're going to take your vanilla pod here and we're going to split it open, remove the seeds with the knife like we've seen in the other video and extract these seeds and put them inside there. Okay, all in. Take a whisk and very gently we're going to bring this to the boil. Now while my milk is warming up slowly, I'm going to use that off time to prepare the other part of the pastry cream, which is blanching the egg yolks, four egg yolks, with the sugar. Now the sugar has been divided in two. And there's half of the sugar for that preparation and half of the sugar that's going to go with the milk. So always remember time management. And so when you have a bit of time, we're going to start with the egg yolks in here and the 40 grams of sugar. Now sugar usually burns egg yolks. So as soon as you put sugar in egg yolks, you need to start mixing them and stirring like this. So vigorously, you're going to keep whisking for about two minutes up to three minutes until it becomes really kind of a whitish mix. Now halfway through, you see the color becomes kind of pale and you're halfway there and you keep on going until it becomes really kind of whitish. So I'll show you after. Okay, we should be done now. So as you can see here, this is the consistency. I'm trying to put it in a light and it's much whiter. It's not going to be plain white like paper white, but you know what I mean. So when you're here, you're going to check your milk immediately. So we're going to leave this and check the milk. And now for the milk, so as you can see, it's uh, warming up very fast. We're just in time. We're going to add the other half of sugar in the milk. 
and we're gonna wait until it boils it's not far from the boiling point so we're gonna keep watching the milk until it boils okay so as you can see uh, the first boiling appears here I'm turning my heat off immediately uh, and I'm just gonna whisk very gently I'm gonna leave these to rest very very short time if you want you can leave it to rest on the side for a longer time if you want to infuse the vanilla more and now we're going to go back to our egg mix for the egg mix as you can see it's got that lovely color and lovely consistency you're going to arm yourself with a sieve like this and the first thing uh, we're going to do when this is done is to add the starch so all of the starch huh, bit by bit and very gently you're going to incorporate this with your eggs all right when you're done, as you can see, I still have a relatively kind of a paste consistency, but not as liquid. And now let's add the milk in. Now for the milk, you're going to add it in stages. So you use the sieve and you're going to add a little bit of milk first. Yeah, make sure you filter everything. And very slowly, you're going to incorporate that milk with this egg mix. When that's done, you add the rest of the milk and you filter everything out bang and you mix again finally when all the uh, milk is incorporated you're going to put it back in the pan and making sure you use that sieve again to filter any bits and foam that might be hanging around when are ready to cook the pastry cream so we're going to use the heat on medium and here it's very important things can go very fast and gently with your whisk you're going to keep whisking until that cream starts to thicken and I'll show you in a bit what's happening then. So like I said very quickly, look what's happening. It starts to cook and it starts to thicken and don't panic, this is the intention with a pastry cream. Yes, it can reach the boils, you can put your heat a bit down on low and you have to whisk and keep on whisking to get a cream. This is the whole intention, we're cooking the eggs. And there you go, look at that. The magic happens again. So when it's hot, and you got these, these boils here, don't leave it to boil anything more than like two or three minutes maximum and then you turn the heat off. And we're gonna go to the next, next stage, which is let this cool down. Now to cool down the, the cream, the pastry cream, you first have to reserve it in a clean metal container and you can either leave it uh, in the fridge to cool down a little bit but what the book says is that you have to take a recipient with water, add ice cube into it and put these recipients in there to accelerate the process. We need this to reach about 50 degrees before we can incorporate some butter so it's up to you, you don't have to do this I'm just showing you what is done uh, in the pastry world in a professional environment but you can just put this in a fridge with a film on there that touches the cream uh, before we incorporate some butter in now I did mention off time earlier and again as part of the time management uh, in the process of, of baking as well and the pastry cream is cooling down we have time to do other things so I'm going to preheat my oven now at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cook my puff pastry for that I'm going to use a baking tray I'm using that silicone mat very useful and I've uh, I've got my roll of pastry here and I'm just going to get the whole thing in there and place it just nice and flat once my puff pastry is there and we need to cook it but we know that puff pastry is gonna rise and when you make a, uh, a slice vanilla slice what you want to have is a puff pastry that did not rise and a simple answer to that is actually very simple when you've got your pastry like this you're just gonna add a piece of parchment paper on top like that and you have to put some weight on it to avoid that your pastry rises. So I'm taking another tray and I'm gonna just put this other tray over. And now we're gonna be cooking this in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. So let's go, I'm gonna put this in the oven and then we're gonna go back to our pastry cream. And now back to our pastry cream. So from what I've tested, honestly, I would skip totally you know, that step with the water. That's just an example and because it cools down very fast. So for your pastry cream, as soon as it's ready, reserve it in a container like that. Leave it a little bit on the side of the stove until it's kind of lukewarm. And then we're gonna add all of the butter in. Your butter has to be at room temperature. 
uh, and it's gonna add a creaminess to your cream so you see it's hot enough to melt and that's all what you want uh, so you're gonna whisk like that until all of the butter is incorporated with with your cream when you're done you should have something like this so as you can see it is still pretty thick and don't worry we're gonna add another ingredient after which is whipped cream to make it even more gourmet now before we add the whipped cream we need to have that pastry cream cold uh, Pierre Hermé is telling us that we need to have this very cold so first off you need to clean everything with a little spatula like this and then we're gonna cover it with film to the touch or to the contact whatever it's called in English sorry but my poor English uh, and we're gonna just put that like this so that your film touches the cream so that it's not gonna draw it there's no crust that's gonna kind of form at the top uh, so this is what you have we're gonna leave this in the fridge until it's totally cold 20 minutes have passed and the pastry or the puff pastry is ready and let me try to turn it around and just show you a little bit as you can see it has kind of risen but it's still fairly thin so I'm gonna let it cool down absolutely totally as long as it's really cold before we can do any assembly now just before assembling uh, our vanilla slice we need to create what we call the uh, mousseline cream uh, which is an improved pastry cream there's two versions there's one when you mix pastry cream with whipped cream this is what we're going to do now and there's another one when you mix pastry cream with a meringue so today we're doing the first version so we have to make whipped cream by hand a very small amount so i've put this in the freezer as you can see it's very cold and it's got all this color and i'm going to put 100 ml of pure cream in there and using my whisk and some elbow grease I'm gonna keep on whisking like that until it's all all done sorry about the autofocus there going out of focus so basically I just started to whip the cream like this and you're gonna keep on whisking until we get a bit of a creamy consistency a bit of thickening happening before we introduce the sugar so very quickly, as you can see here, so the light is not great and it's quite creamy. I'm going to just add about two teaspoons, the equivalent, eh, about 10 grams of caster sugar. And I'm going to continue to mix that until it becomes basically whipped cream. And as you can see, it's very fast. For a small amount like that, don't use a food processor. And that's it. You see, you don't want to go any further than that and now for the final stage of our creme mousseline uh, you take our pastry cream that's been in the fridge it's nice and cold and as you can see it's also nice and stiff so what i'm doing personally i add some flavoring first in terms of adding some ramen usually about maybe a tablespoon of, of, uh, of rum, it's a Caribbean rum and that adds some liquid in there which makes it very easy to restore a workable consistency to my pastry cream here and the word is that when you make uh, the pastry cream and you have to mix this with other ingredients both of the ingredients the cream and the pastry cream has to be roughly the same consistency when you make mix them by hand so this is pretty good let me add a little more rum and we're almost done all right I think I'm pretty happy with that. Look at this. It's nice and creamy, still very stiff, but with the addition of whipped cream, it's gonna be perfect. Now we're ready to add the cream, but before, of course, you know what? Let's taste this. Wow. Now, it is good. It is very good. I like. Uh, it's very good. So what we're going to do basically, we're going to, it's the action of détendre, hein, to uh, basically to do, we dilute a little bit, hein, we're going to make it softer. I mix, so you're going to add some lovely whipped cream in there. Look at that, that combination, the whipped cream and the pastry cream. And a bit like a short, uh, the chocolate mousse, what you're going to do is adding these two together, hein, so they combine nicely. And that's just going to give you another texture, a bit softer, a, bit, a little bit more runnier, but very delicate uh, in the palate. Uh, so you keep on doing this gently until it's all incorporated. And that's it guys, look at this. Mm, nice and soft. Look at this cream. This is 
the crème mousseline, a pastry cream enhanced with butter and whipped cream. So I'm going to taste it again because I'm naughty. Whoa. Now that adds a dimension. Ooh, I can feel that kind of whipped cream. You know, you know when you eat whipped cream, it's got that nice creamy taste. Now you got the pastry cream in the foreground and in the background. Let me try that again. Mmm. In the background, you could really like the, you can feel that whipped cream in there. Magical. Wow. Now let's dress that up. And now for the assembly, so of course you get one big piece of puff pastry uh, and you can detail it basically from here the way you want. If you want to make two massive slabs, cut that in half, huh? we need two layers, so things two layers per thing. But for, for now I'm just going to show an individual uh, slice. So the first thing I would do is to get rid of, be very gentle, it's very fragile, and kind of shave off the untidy bit on here. And I'm just going to get a generous generous slice in there, boom, reserve that and cut that in half for our little vanilla slice. Okay guys, for the assembly, uh, we're not going to be picky, I'm just going to show you a very homely version, so I don't pretend to do like a restaurant version, it's just a bit of fun, so please uh, allow me to use these things, they don't look superb, but we're just going to work with that, that small piece. So, pastry cream on there, a nice layer. And then I'm adding just some little raspberries because I can and I kind of love them. And then it's a matter of again adding some more of that lovely, uh, honestly that cream guys. It is really really something. It's actually really really good. And when you're done, you know, you can just put the other piece on there, press a little bit. And that's it. And the only thing left to do now is to tidy up if you want the sides. Okay guys, sorry I had to change place because the light was really bad, but basically I've tidied up here. And as you can see, we can see the, the raspberries in there. I've got my slice and if I move slightly, you see this is basically how it's like. It's like a sandwich. And the final touch is really just adding some of that uh, powdered sugar. So I'm going to try to sprinkle or make it snow. Let it snow. Et voilà, this is my little vanilla slice, so the raspberry vanilla slice. So if I turn it that way, uh, you get the, the raspberry on here. If you turn it here, you get everything. And it's a lovely sandwich. A bit messy to it, but it's absolutely delicious. Trust me, the taste of that uh, mousseline cream is absolutely gorgeous. You need to try that recipe. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Another French dessert to try. And this one is really easy and simple to make at home. And so me, I will leave you with that picture again. And as always, if you can leave me some comments, I would appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up or down. And if you can become a patron on my page, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.